Hey YouTube, we are with Jeep Club of Maryland. This is the second um, video in the series. And uh, basically, they are uh, going around the park uh, for the first time. And I'm tail gunning, uh, basically following them around. Which is cool because I came to the park and I had nobody to go with. And I was just looking for somebody to go out with. And these guys were here. And it's awesome I can go with them. So anyway, um, we are on trail 8. This is one of the trails that we just did in the last video. So I'm going to show you the map to see where we're, show you where we're at. Um, the upper part of the map above the big blue line um, is where we're at. And that's a flatter area here just zoomed in a little bit. We are on trail 8. It's on the right hand side. The, um, the little camera kind of shows like where it is. We're going to go up 8, make a left turn, go down the coal road. And then um, the lower part of where the big blue line is, it's going across the screen um, left to right, um, is where all the hills start. And they're looking for rocks. Um, but unfortunately, um, you'll find out pretty quickly that um, they end up making a right hand turn instead of a left hand turn. And uh, they don't get as many rocks as they were hoping. Um, but never, don't fr um, fret. You can see the little blue line going off. We actually do find some rocks um, near the end of the video. So um, I'm sorry about the little uh, um, spot like on the screen, basically. Um, I didn't realize that there was like some dirt on the windshield and unfortunately it'll be there for a while. Um, so anyway, so um, this part of the park, like the, the part that's above um, Anthracite Road, which is the main road that goes into Anthr um, AOAA, um, is very, very flat. So it gets um, muddy and you end up with these like little kind of mud holes. Some of the mud holes are very, very deep, like Excelsior Swamp, and some of them are not so deep. Um, but this is the type of terrain that you typically see on that half of the map. And then um, if you go, I want to say south, but I don't actually know if the map is actually oriented like north-south. But if you go to the lower half of the map, and I'm assuming that's sort of south, um, that's where the mountain is. And that's where you'll start to see um, the basically um, the rock or the, or the mountains and stuff. And this is uh, the cool road that we're on right here. Hey Tube, so uh, this long line of Jeeps right here is our Jeeps. This is uh, Jeep Club of Maryland that I'm with, and like, yeah, like it's pretty long. There's a lot of Jeeps here. And uh, yeah, we're the tail, so yeah, big surprise. Um, so anyway, so this is our Jeep crew, and uh, we will uh, um, continue down the trail. So we will see you. So I like to run through um, some of the different vehicles that are with us, just so people can look at them. And what you're looking for is a vehicle that looks similar to yours. And if you see a vehicle similar to yours, then you know, like, if this vehicle out here could do it, then, then you can do it easily. And most of these vehicles that are with us, um, they're very well equipped um, for the level of, of terrain we're doing. They could easily be doing, like, blues um, at this park. But not everybody has that comfort level. Um, but I did want to just kind of show off a little bit on the, um, the vehicles so people could see them. Hey YouTube, so we are headed to the other side of the park, so we are going from the north side to the south side. Yeah, I know it's all like on the same map or whatever, but we're going to the other side of the coal road. So basically what that means is we're going to get out of the mud and we're going to go look for um, some hills, like to go, you know, hill climbs and like rock and stuff. So uh, um, please like and uh, subscribe. We'll see you. Okay, so as you can see, we made a right-hand turn off the uh, main anthracite road, meaning that we should be headed um, down on the map, which I think is south. And as you can see, we are now all of a sudden going up a hill, like I've been uh, trying to explain in the video. Now, um, there are different spots, obviously, you know, the mountain moves or whatever. Um, so the farther down the road you are, or the farther away you are from the office, it seems like the steeper it is and more the more interesting it is if you're if you think interesting it means you know bigger obstacles more obstacles things like that um, the closer you are to the office um, the more mild it is and so we are pretty close to the office right now um, position wise so uh, um, obviously um, this is going to be relatively mild content but obviously we are doing greens also at this point so if you were to get kind of like lost in this park, hypothetically, um, you would know that if you're going up a hill like this, that you would be heading away from the main road or Anthracite Road. And if you were headed down the hill, you'd be headed toward Anthracite Road. And then um, if it was totally flat, um, you actually wouldn't know probably which direction you were going. 
um, but the savior is they have these little pink arrows throughout the entire uh, um, system of trails that tell you where the exit is so you just follow the pink arrows and it'll get you out Hey YouTube, so that was Trail 16 uh, from the Coal Road. You make a right-hand turn if you're coming from the park and you go up Trail 16. It was a um, mild hill climb, green level, like small obstacles, um, but it was fun. So uh, um, yeah, please like and subscribe. We'll see you. Hey YouTube, so we are on Trail 14. Trail 14 is a green uh, trail that goes um, parallel to the Coal Road. This, um, and like I was saying, because you know that it's flat, but you're on a hill and you're not going up or down the hill, you know that you're you're going along the main uh, anthracite road um, trail. So anyway, so this trail is good for um, if you're trying to get somewhere out in the park, and you're not especially worried about getting there fast, and you just don't want to be on the main road. This is an interesting trail to take um, to get somewhere. This is not usually like um, the trail that you you seek out going to. Um, this is usually like one of the, the ones that you travel on to get somewhere. Um, and like I was saying, the thing that makes it the most interesting is uh, the fact that you don't have to be like on Anthracite Road. You can avoid it and, and uh, be on something a little bit more interesting than Anthracite Road and you can still get to where you're going. So this right here, we're basically above the office. Like that's the pole line right there. And uh, that goes to a gate. Um, that they, they found out about. So anyway, um, we're gonna continue um, our trail ride. Um, and like I said, this is they're exploring, so that's the fun part of being out at a park for the first time. And uh, obviously, you know, mistakes happen while, while you're exploring, but that, that makes it fun. Hey YouTube, we are on the pole line uh, at Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area, right above the office. Office is like right over there. And we just did a little pit stop, sort of, and I think we're just regrouping, figuring out where we're going. We didn't really get separated, so regrouping might be the wrong word. Um, but we will see you on the trail. There we are, uh, tail gunning, and there is our group uh, um, up there. And we're, I think we're about to get going. So uh, please like and subscribe. Look at the big doggy. Come on. Come on, Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Oh, the big doggy. No. Hi, baby. Hi. Grace, be careful. Be nice. He's being nice to you. You be nice to her. Him. Oh, that's a big toolkit. That is a gigantic toolkit. Taking links out? Hey YouTube, so yeah, they decided to take their links out. Uh, I guess somebody hadn't taken them out and they decided they wanted to take them out. We are on the pole line. A lot of the parks have pole lines. The word pole line essentially means it is a trail that runs underneath utility poles um, to give the utility company access to the utility poles. Not all places allow you to go on their pole lines. At AOAA and Roush, they totally allow you to use a pole line. The pole line is one of the main trails to get around. Um, however, like in the George Washington National Forest, the pole line um, you're not supposed to drive on, or at least the ones that, that, that I've seen, like off Dictum and uh, Second Mountain, for instance, have big yellow signs that say they'll put you in prison if you drive on them. They're pretty um, not wanting you to do it. So anyway, so this is going to be the most interesting area of trail number one in my mind. So when you come out of the office, you'll see on the right-hand side of the trail, like this... Uh, hill climb with small obstacles so that's what we're going to do it's not going to be a hill climb per se it's going to be a descent because we're going to go down the hill and uh, essentially we're going down one at a time which is a safe way to do it because then um, you know you don't have any worry about uh, people like bumping into each other and when you see the obstacles here um, you're going to see how easy they look and you know people you'll also see that there's a spotter down here which will give you an idea that um, a lot of the people with us, or not all of them, but, but a lot, quite a few of the people, um, this is their first time out, so they're just uh, kind of, you know, having a ball, like kind of learning how to do things. So there was a little bit of a surprise here um, to the guide. He's in the white shirt um, with a great white uh, Jeep. And he, the surprise was that he found the office, and they were looking for um, more rocks. 
So, you know, I talked to them some more, and um, they knew that, like, I had a lot of kind of experience in this park. So the decision was made, basically, um, and that's me there with uh, no shirt on walking around. Uh, I'm kind of getting old manish where I don't, I don't care how I look, <laughs> um, as right or wrong as that is. So anyway, um, the decision was made to have me um, take over guiding the group. Um, so essentially, you know, I'm trying to tell him what, like where to go and stuff, and he's just uh, kind of wanting to chill, which is cool. So essentially, um, I take over. And I'm going to go find them some rocks, because they like rocks, and that's what they want. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit, just so um, it's not too terribly boring, because this is a, a bit of a drive. And essentially, we are going all the way down this big blue line that you see there on the map. And we are going to make a right-hand turn onto 23. Um, you can see it's like where the blue line goes down to that big area. And we are headed to an area that I know very well. So we're, we are right now headed over to get on Boy Scout, and we're going to go up to U-Joint Tree, and probably go down Twister, and uh, probably um, explore that area, the park, and not to give too much away, but we end up on Renee's Hill, and we go down Renee's Hill. Um, no, but not everybody goes down it, um, but some of the people decide to go down Renee's Hill. Um, and like I said, they were looking for um, some rocks. Um, and they, I did get the opportunity to also see some of the bigger trails, like they got to see um, M and SOP. Um, we didn't go on those trails, um, and Barney Rubble, for instance, um, but everybody did get a chance to see, you know, more of the park to get an idea of what, what's here. And I, I hear this common theme about people um, coming to AOAA, and the common theme is that they can't find stuff in the park. Like, they don't, they just um, get a little bit upset, I guess, because they come to the park and they drive around and uh, they can't find the good stuff, so to speak. And uh, it's just they don't know where to go, I guess, is, is more of what it is. So anyway, um, we're doing like some hill climbs now and uh, trying to get up here um, to get to, to kind of get the last couple hours of the day um, in on this area. So we will see you in the next video. The next video will be the Boy Scout Trail. So uh, please like and subscribe.